Jennifer Walsh is somebody who is relatively recently graduated from the Unitech School of um, Design at, out in West Auckland and it's a really great um, coincidence to have her at the Vivian because it was Mandy Thompson Taylor who first interviewed her to get into design school. At that stage she was a solo mother with four children, um, the youngest I think was still a baby. Um, and then I came across her work when she was exhibiting at the Pa Homestead with a group of graduating painters from Unitech. And what really struck me was that she was able to work with quite contemporary kinds of references. So if you look at this work, it's a little bit of a graffiti aesthetic going on, and she's able to create a sense of, it's, they're very, they seem to me like very urban works. She's able to create a sense of all these different levels. If you look at the work on the left in particular, um, there seems to be this beautiful translucent open space in the centre of it and then she's worked on top of it with these sort of calligraphic marks which, you know, they can't be read as words but they're kind of gestures or signatures that are creating this sort of tug between what would seem like a natural background and like a cultural overlay. So she's got those two things going on. She's making references to kind of youth culture and particularly Polynesian youth culture in Auckland, but also the sort of the natural um, sphere in an urban environment. And again, I think um, what's interesting about her method of working is that like Sally Gabori, she's not somebody that uses an easel or works in an upright, she works on the ground. So she's literally a helicopter over her space and creating something, trying to create a sense of something of a void in the centre of the work. So you often see these very disparate elements kind of almost centrifugally kind of distributed around the surface.